Good morning. It is October 30th and it's a chilly one. Uh, temps in the 20s. Just a, a beautiful morning to be in the stand. Calm. I came in here with stand sticks and kind of picked a random tree back in here. It's relatively thick. The deer bed all over in here. Um, I got a pond back here behind me. Cool spot. Never really hunted close to here. What's cool is pick a tree in the dark and there's a big scrape at about 12 yards upwind of me. But hoping to catch a cruising buck. There's, there's one buck in here. I've got a single photo of him this year. He just showed back up. I was wondering, beginning to wonder if he died of EHD or something, but he just finally showed back up. One picture I don't really know how much he grew from last year to this year, uh, but he's probably a six-year-old deer, so would love to get a glimpse of him. He's he's called this area home for the last couple of years, so. Hope he's in here today. Uh, I gotta sit back, probably do a little calling this morning too.
Well, that was awesome right there. Five different bucks, at least five different bucks came into that rattling sequence. And that was the definition of covered up. So many deer within 15 yards at the most. That first buck came in like a two or three year old. He, he was the one that came running in first, followed shortly behind uh, by, by that really good look at, I think a four year old. Um, gonna be a really good deer if he can make it. Those are the first two and then had four dozen fawns kind of in between come from the opposite direction and they were right here at that scrape at like 10 yards. And the bucks just kept coming. Uh, there was a couple small bucks back over here. I'm sitting facing this way filming them and I think the oldest buck, potentially a five-year-old, the one with the messed up rack. I could hear something, kind of assumed it was a doze, but just decided to take a peek over my shoulder and he's walking at the base of the tree. That was awesome. And that snort wheeze that that four-year-old is so close, it made me jump a little bit. That was awesome. And watch him spar right here, 15 yards. That's what you uh, dream of when you think about a rattling sequence on a cold morning like this. That was awesome. One thing I like to do when it comes to rattling in a spot like this, um, so essentially I have a lot of room on the downwind side of my tree for a buck to circle in. You know, a lot of times you call and if a mature buck comes in, especially by himself, it's going to get downwind and so instead of just not calling in this situation I like to wait until my, I know my thermals are going to help me out and that's exactly what happened you know I, I purposely waited to call until the sun started warming things up the sun got high enough to start warming things up in here and these deer could kind of tell something wasn't right I think they're getting little whiffs but not enough uh, to bust out of here obviously i think if i were to call earlier or later sometimes it's a short window especially today the wind's starting to pick up a little bit where it's going to trump those thermals if i would have waited until later i probably would have got busted right away so um you know kind of waiting until those thermals help out to call can make all the difference um, and of course you can always call and try to get lucky and, and by that i mean you have a young buck come in and they're they usually just come right to it they don't always circle downwind um, and that can kind of act as your decoy and that kind of what happened a little bit on this one that four-year-old potentially would have circled downwind if the other buck wasn't here but um, for sure the thermals saved me with all those deer on all sides of my tree the thermals really helped carry my scent up and out of here um, instead of blowing right down to them
Man, what a morning it's been. Just non-stop action. I decided to push it and do one more rattling sequence and uh, it was pretty much case in point what I was talking about earlier with a lone buck circling downwind. You know, I, I could tell the thermals were still rising when the wind wouldn't gust, but it was starting to pick up, so it was right on the cusp. And sure enough, he got me back here. He circled way downwind. I could see his legs way back there and lost him for a while. Next thing I know, he's 25 yards behind me right here. A good looking deer, uh, but pretty cool. I mean, these, these bucks are responding to rattling awesome right now. It's always so fun to do that. And just all morning, the vocalizations between the grunting, the snort wheeze, the fawn bleat. Even that last doe that came running by, I couldn't get the camera on fast enough, but she was scent trailing the, the previous doe and fawn that had just walked by. She was nose to the ground, trotting, grunting. Uh, pretty cool. I thought for sure it was a buck coming when I heard it, but I guess she was just trying to catch up to that other doe and fawn. But man, what a cool morning. This is what we live for right here. I got a few things I gotta do midday. So I'm gonna start packing up and decide where I wanna sit this afternoon.